I get some really good project ideas from those of you leaving comments, and I had at least 100 people ask me to test mothballs in fuel. Urban legend has it that back in the 1960s and 70s, people would add mothballs to fuel to gain some sort of performance advantage over the competition. Apparently, these mothballs would boost the octane of fuel. Others have left comments and said, hey, if you add some mothballs to fuel, you're going to wreck your engine. In fact, there's no way that engine will run after you're done. It's worse than running sugar in your fuel. Hey, I don't know what the truth is, but what I do know is we have a small engine and we have some mothballs. So let's get this project underway and find out once and for all what's going to happen if we add mothballs to the fuel. So the type of mothball we'll be testing is the original formula. It contains naphthalene. There's actually two different types of mothballs. The other type, which you do not want to test, includes dichlorobenzene, and that's chlorinated. So if you burn something that's chlorinated, it could cause significant issues with your health. So this is the original formula, and that's what folks have asked me to test. So this is what we're going to use. The fuel tank in the lawnmower is empty, so I'm going to just put some fuel inside of this quart jar. That's right at 16 ounces. Okay, I've been shaking this, this uh, jar of gasoline and mothballs for quite some time, and it's done a fairly good job of dissolving, but there's still some particles and mothballs inside the container. So I'm just going to dump it in there and see if this thing is going to run or if this is going to clog up the carburetor and cause it to stall. Okay, as you can see, the fuel tank is totally empty. The engine is stalled and will not restart. Looking inside the carburetor, I can see a lot of white material, obviously mothball material. So anyway, this mothball did not improve performance. In fact, it seems to have caused a significant issue with the way this engine runs. So quite interesting to see the carbon buildup deposits. This is the intake valve area, as well as this is just above the piston. And, this, and of course the exhaust valve looks very clean, it just doesn't burn clean at all. I'm going to go ahead and use some B12 Chem Tool to spray out the carburetor, just the outside, what I can see. In order to get the B12 Chem Tool into the engine, for the sake of time, I've emptied out the fuel tank, I've added some fresh fuel, and now I'm going to spray some B12 Chem Tool. This is a really good solvent, it has a lot of acetone in it. So I'm going to spray some into the fuel tank itself, and we're basically running acetone, about an 80% ratio of acetone, through the engine along with the fuel. So it's going to do, I think, a pretty good job of cleaning up this small engine. The B12 Chem Tool did a terrific job of dissolving the mothball buildup inside the carburetor. I'm going to go ahead and add about a third of this can into this carburetor using this spray nozzle.
So after adding uh, B12 Chem Tool, there's still quite a bit of buildup inside this engine. But one thing I will say, it's very soft, very easy to take off. As you can see, this just wipes right off. So anyway, I just want to say that the B12 Chem Tool did a great job as far as getting this engine to run normally again. It seemed to have dissolved all the buildup inside the carburetor and allowed the engine to return to normal functioning. Adding mothballs to fuel is obviously a bad idea. I can only imagine the problems this will cause in a modern automobile with the sensitive fuel systems that they have. Anyway, this was a really fun project for me. I enjoyed seeing what mothballs would do. I don't expect the moths will attack this lawnmower anytime soon. This thing truly smells like a mothball right now. Also, the B12 Chem Tool did a terrific job of cleaning up the mess inside the fuel tank, inside the carburetor, and it did soften up the buildup inside the combustion chamber. Just as a reminder, I'm not sponsored by B12 Chem Tool, Marvel Mystery Oil, Seafoam, or any other manufacturer. I'm totally independently sponsored, and I plan to keep it that way. Well, I got this idea from you guys. I hope to have more ideas thrown out there, so please leave a comment. Also, the thumbs up really helped the channel. I hope I've earned one. I put a lot of effort in editing these videos and also as far as making these videos. As usual, just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and look forward to seeing you next time.